Hi guys, Salone here. Thanks for tuning in to Salone DPT Life segment where I share tools, tips, and hacks I'm using to excel in PT school. So consider subscribing and clicking the little bell so you're the first to know when new videos are released. And hey, let me know if you are a current PT student awaiting your start date or trying to get into PT school in the comment section below, all right? So I am a week out from orientation. I'm still doing what I can to prepare myself to not only do well in the program, but to excel. So this week I've been studying insertions, origins, and actions of the musculoskeletal system. This knowledge is hands down fundamental for any PT student and your career. And I was highly recommended uh, to study anatomy, specifically insertions, origins, and actions, just for fun. So, hey, if you are preparing for a physical therapy program or you just need some, you know, review of anatomy, insertions, origins, and actions, I'm going to take you through my four step process to help you prepare for your anatomy, physiology course in PT school or just to review. So, let's get started. Step one, Google physical therapy, anatomy, insertions, origins, and actions. During this step, what you are looking for is an exhaustive list of muscles with their insertions, their origins, and their actions. An alternative is to utilize, you know, old anatomy physiology textbooks or manuals that would have the names of the major muscles of the musculoskeletal system. So once you have your list, step two would be to create the flashcards. I personally subscribe to Quizlet Plus, which is a paid subscription. You can create flashcards for free. Um, however, in an accelerated hybrid program that will require me to travel and you know move at a faster pace, I needed more than what the free version offered such as the ability to upload my own images, study offline, and record custom audios because like you probably already know, medical terminology pronunciation can be tricky and being able to spell a word directly relates to how you pronounce a word. So having the correct pronunciation is important to me. So the custom audio is a feature of the Quizlet Plus that I love. However, there are tons of flashcard makers out there that are free. So feel free to explore some of the others. The specific flashcard tool is not as important as the task of creating the flashcards. Now, you may be asking yourself, why would I create flashcards when there are a number of muscle insertion origin and action flashcards on Quizlet? Great, great question. Because you don't want to passively study this fundamental information that will be the underlying success of your career. We want to actively study the muscular skeletal system, which has been proven to increase retention. So while you're creating the flashcards, you're actually learning the material, which leads us to step three, invest in a good anatomy app that is interactive and allows you to click on the muscles for identification purposes to gain more information um, about the muscle and ideally to see the action of the muscle. We think in pictures. So, you know, when I say the mind, what picture pops in your head? A brain, right? But the mind is not a brain but we have associated a picture of a brain with the word mind. So by attaching a picture to the various muscles, you are able to remember them better. And if you can remember, you know, where they're located in the body and how they move, most likely you'll remember the insertions and the origin of these muscles. I am currently using uh, Complete Anatomy and I love it. However, it's not the most 
inexpensive anatomy app on the market. And hey, feel free to check out the four part video series I did on the Human Anatomy Atlas app, which I will include in the description area um, below. It's a little more budget friendly and just as effective. And number four, intentionally learn the information as you are creating your study guide. And in this case, flashcards. So take each muscle one at a time and insert the information on the flashcards and immediately uh, locate that muscle within your anatomy app, which should show the motion of the muscle, you know, and then ask yourself, why is this muscle moving, you know, in this direction versus in a different direction? Read the information about the muscle, which should include the insertions, the origins and, and the actions. So take that information and then insert it onto your flashcards. If for some reason the app does not have this vital information, Quizlet will generate this information for you. But again, we want to actively learn this information. So have that as a backup plan for defining the, defining the insertions, the origins, and the actions. And for a bonus step, find a way, a creative way, to teach this information. You can do this in many ways. You know, you can form a small study group and teach the members of your group about show, by showing them on a skeleton where each muscle originates and where it inserts. You could teach them about, you know, identifying the muscle's nerves or a bony landmark. You know, you could teach them the actions of the muscle and the joints they cross. You can even turn this into a game of taboo. You already have the flashcards. Why not make it fun, right? There is a lot of room for you to be creative here, so have fun with it. And hey, if you find a creative way to teach this information, please share it with us in the comment section below. We want to encourage and inspire each other to learn, grow, and excel in PT school. So in review, one, find a detailed list of the musculoskeletal system to create flashcards. Three, invest in a good anatomy app. Four, actively learn the information. And as a bonus, creatively find a way to teach the information to others. All right, guys, if you found this information helpful, go ahead and comment below Anatomy Rocks and like and subscribe and click the little bell so you never miss another episode. Remember, all show notes, tools, tips, and resources shared are in the description area. So check that out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace and love.